three different realms he is coming up uh, with the concept of unmoved mover uncaused to cause and also the the pure act so these motions has to reach out to somewhere uh, which is unmoved and uncaused which is never a possibility of changing uh, to something to potential uh, in future so uh, whether aristotle is considering this uncaused the cause unmoved mover pure act as divine uh, anywhere he explains or calls it as divine he calls it as divine because the first philosophy what we now call the first uh, metaphysics he never used the word metaphysics as he said as andronicos of rhodes when he was editing he found that uh, the discussions which aristotle does in what he called the first philosophy can be understood only if we understand those principles which he read in which he in discusses in physics so without understanding that content of the physics it is difficult to understand the arguments which is done in first philosophy and so he gave an editorial meaning telling that when the books are edited this first philosophy should come after physics ta meta physica after the physics then others understood that that which is discussed in first philosophy that is about the unmoved mover and that which is discussed in physics that is about the sensible world the and unmoved mover is the is the spiritual is spiritual and he is the ultimate explanation for the physical world and he is going beyond the physical world and therefore the first philosophy was considered to be not simply after coming after physics actually it is discussing things which are going beyond the physical realm and therefore it was given a philosophical meaning that is metaphysics that means things which are going beyond physics and that is how metaphysics got the present significance that means a science which is discussing the things which are going beyond the physical realm and one thing which we have to note here is that the name which aristotle gave to that treatise which we now call metaphysics his name was first philosophy and that first philosophy is identified with theology because when we ask for the ultimate explanation for the principles of this world we end up with the notion of god unmoved more and therefore the first philosophy that the science which is explaining the ultimate principles of this reality is identified with the theology because finally the discussion is on god unmoved more but we have to be careful in speaking about the the you the speaking about the notion of god there is a difference between the religious concept of god and the aristotelian notion of god in aristotle this uh, unmoved mover is not at all the creator he is responsible only for the movement and that is why he is unmoved mover in religion and so on especially in christianity judaism and islam and so on god is understood as the creator of this world out of nothing creation out of nothing that idea is absent in aristotle and moreover 
ഇൻ റിലിജിയൻ വി കൺസിഡർ ഗോഡ് ആസ് എ പേഴ്സണൽ ഗോഡ് 